Recently, one of the all-time great television programs wrapped up its run in 2010. It was a ratings juggernaut, had a huge influence on the pop culture, and won more than its share of Emmy Awards. <laughs> but enough about the new adventures of old Christine. We're here to talk about Lost. Lost recently aired its final episode, and a group of friends and I got together to watch it. Afterwards, we talked about the show, what it had taught us, and the lessons we had learned. I thought it was important that everyone know these lessons, so I turned the camera on. Here now are 25 things I learned from Lost. The king of the jungle isn't the lion, but the arctic polar bear. Being an immortal spiritual advisor to a group of castaways is a great background for a career in Gotham City politics. The secret about the final five Cylons is that they actually created the... Well, what show are we talking about? It was never Penny's boat. She leased it. Four plus eight plus fifteen plus sixteen Plus 23 plus 42 equals 108, and you do not want to get to 109. The mishandling of dynamite is forever known as pulling in arts. He could make a radio out of coconuts, but he couldn't fix a two-foot hole in a boat. What the hell? Wrong island. island. Oh. The Virgin Mary is also the patron saint of heroin smugglers. If you ever get into a fight with your brother, try talking things out instead of killing him and accidentally transforming him into a smoke monster. Just saying. The five second rule apparently applies not only to drop food, but spinal surgery mishaps. The one Hallmark card that they don't make is the sorry your father sired a bastard daughter that you never met while he was alive, uh, your girlfriend has adopted your nephew as her own son, and your half-sister is now crazy as a loon. All the millions that ABC poured into this, and they never did get that title card properly in focus. Jacob had all of these lists of people on the island. He was checking them once. He was even checking them twice. He was trying to find out who was naughty or nice. That's right, Jacob was Santa Claus, and the island was the North Pole. You get a DUI on this show, and your character dies. Lies, murder, bunny theft, blackmail, and corpse stealing. This means you're one of the good guys. Commit a murder? Fleeing the country? All is forgiven as long as you have freckles and two members of the opposite sex constantly fighting over you. That's why Archie got away with murdering Jughead. If you steal some diamonds and then lose them, just let them go. Whatever happened, happened. Unless you're a magical magnetic Scotsman. Mango, avocados, and boar meat does wonders for the diet. Just look at our spokesperson. Sewing your own drapes qualifies you for minor surgery. Don't tell me what I can't do, because I can fly. Seventies hippies clocks often had an Egyptian doomsday setting. If they ever assign you to the tail section of a plane, you might as well kill yourself. Sitting back there is suicide. You all everybody. No, really. You all everybody. Think about it. Psychic powers are really only useful for getting birds to commit suicide. 